there is no more excuses. We gotta get in the stand as early as possible, stay as long as possible. I don't know where he went, that was a really, really good buck. The best case scenario is it ends today. Get ourselves a Halloween buck. This is the feeling that I've been chasing. With November breezing by and the calendar landing just right, we only had two weekends before the Orange Army takes the woods. Rifle season in Wisconsin will always hold a special place in my heart. I still toss and turn the night before opening day, and I hope I always feel like a kid on Christmas Eve. In recent years, however, for whatever reason, our 23-acre property breaks one of two ways. Either we have every buck in the neighborhood cruising through, giving us little bursts of excitement, or we see almost nothing. 2023 was the season of the latter. Our rifle season was also a bit different. Since shooting a bow buck of a lifetime, we decided that I would only carry a camera for rifle season. That means Marilyn and Dad are the only two after a deer for the next nine days. Yeah, it's crazy. That's a sad, sad rap on opening weekend. You know, sometimes it's just the way it goes, especially this time in November. It's just locked down and does aren't moving because they're in estrus and bucks aren't moving because they're locked down with does. And the only deer you're gonna see are the ones chasing each other or people are moving. But I do expect it to get a lot better. See someone brown? I mean, what I saw first was the brown on mm -hmm. his back and then the white. 
so I thought it was like a neck patch. Did Just you get good footage of it though? Yeah. <clears throat> did you actually hit record? <clears throat> I did. Thank you very much. Our rifle season blows by as we have very little deer activity on the property. None of the mature bucks show up during our nine day rifle season. We may not have had the excitement we wanted for rifle season, but we are never disappointed. It's all about spending time with each other in the woods. Whether deer walk by or not, we find ways to love the outdoors. And ultimately, that is what it's all about for us here at Sarge Outdoors. And with that said, let's go out and take a peek at what's going on right now. Let's wrap up the debrief with a sneak peek at 2024. All right, we are out scouting for the 2024 season right now. Uh, but first and foremost, I'm gonna try to keep this short and sweet. Thank you all for watching the debrief series. It is by far my favorite thing to create for Sergeant Outdoors. Reliving, you know, last year's hunts and the creativity I get to put into it. I love doing the debrief. So I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of it as well. Um, Last year was the definition of a roller coaster, like the highest of highs, shooting the biggest buck of my life, but the lowest of lows, you know, Maryland's buck getting hit on the highway. And just overall, last year was a very um, slow year. Like we had some really awesome hunts and experiences and obviously the best experience ever shooting my buck. But ultimately like rifle season was nothing. The lows were really low. Like we saw no deer when when nothing was happening, nothing was happening. 2024, right now, I can tell you I am the most excited for this season than I have been in a handful of years, you know, since like the first time we got to go out on the new properties that, you know, my parents bought. Um, this year, there's a couple things that are, are playing out just right that I am you know, just the most excited for that you could ever possibly imagine. So I'm going to put all the, the details and the stuff in some future videos here about what's coming up in 2024. I'm going to give you food plot updates. I'm going to give you target updates. I'm going to make those videos here soon. Uh, we're still filming some stuff for them uh, as of right now. But I can tell you, instead of just having one target buck, which is usually the case between me, Dad, and Marilyn, you know, like we have one buck on camera this year between the public land and private land and some of the public land is like three and a half hours away like i got cameras all over the state i feel like uh between all of that we have like five or six deer that i am 100 percent willing to just go after so in years past even on public land you'd get like one target buck and someone else would get it it would just devastate me like it would it would take away all motivation when that alarm goes off in the morning to get up it's like why this year with the amount of targets I have, you know, we can lose three, four of them and I'm still going to be pumped and excited every time that alarm goes off. So like I said, trying to keep this short and sweet, I just wanted to thank you all for watching, let you know that 2024 is just going to be incredible across the board. We're going to do new things, try new places, uh, do, you know, try new products out. I mean, my new camera setup is awesome and I'm super excited to get that out into the field and working and, and I'm just really, really excited for 2024. So it's about time that a uh, you know, handful of states out there, are, their opener is probably already happening or like next week, I know some open really early. So I wanna end the debrief by saying good luck to all of you out there. I hope you guys have your dream seasons. Uh, I hope you all the best of luck anyone and everyone watching this make sure you put updates to your life down in my comment sections i love hearing from you guys um and we're gonna wrap it up thank you for watching the debrief i appreciate every last one of you uh again for watching this so make sure you like share comment subscribe and until next time we'll see you in the woods